Five one, turn right, heading one eight zero. One four, Papa, turn right two four five. Report localizer established two seven. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation. Drones have featured heavily within the aviation industry for all the wrong reasons of late, with most notably London's Gatwick and also London's Heathrow experiencing major shutdowns after drones were spotted in and around the airfield, posing of course a huge risk to aircraft departing and also aircraft arriving. It's now being reported that the world's largest passenger plane, the Airbus A380, came within just 20 metres of a drone operating around London Heathrow last year. The news comes after more details are revealed about other drone incidents as well. An incident also occurred on the 7th of September in Glasgow when an E-190 had a near miss with a drone. The UK Air Prox Board, or better known as simply the UKAB, investigated the reported incident and have now revealed that the Airbus A380 was at 3,400 feet on the 22nd of July. The incident saw the drone pass to the right side of the A380, just some 20 metres away. This is dangerously close. Any closer, and it could have made impact to an engine. While drones are small, and likely the pilots would have been trained to still land the aircraft if it had hit the aircraft, it's still a very scary prospect to think about. Airports in London are now implementing measures to identify when drones are around the airfield, with West London airports introducing a vehicle which actually sits on the airfield perimeter with systems in place to identify everyone when there is drone activity present. This is called the AUDS, or Anti-UAV Defence System. It can also track drones that are on the ground. It means that airports can be alerted potentially before there is a significant threat that a drone is operating around the airfield. Hopefully this would also aid the airport in preventing cancellations, like what we saw at London's Gatwick in December of 2018. However, the incidents do continue. On the 4th of August, only 12 days after the A380 at 1,000 metres came within 20 metres of a drone, another A380 crew descending into Heathrow saw a drone pass by. This was when they were on approach to runway 27 left. More widely though, investigations were compiled and they do highlight how drones put aircraft in danger far more often than we think. In fact, it happened at least 18 times in three months. What are your thoughts on these new developments? Has your opinion on drones changed? Do you believe they should be banned? Or do you believe airports should start implementing new safety procedures to stop them from getting close to aircraft? Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, I'd like to take the time now to thank you very much for tuning into this video of mine, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one. Race all of these broken dreams in flight And we'll fly